Hey, this is Math 8, Unit 4, Lesson 11 continued, because again, this is another one that the last problem or so got cut off, so I'm going to go back and redo those for you, because the originals aren't anywhere, so here we go. Looking at number 4, which is where we got cut off at, it says that a farm has chickens and cows. All the cows have four legs, and all the chickens have two legs. Altogether, there are 82 cow and chicken legs on the farm. Complete the table to show some possible combinations of chickens and cows to get 82 total eggs. So before I flip the page real quick, let's just see what this figured out. Cows are going to have four legs, right? So however many cows I have, I'm going to have four times, I'm going to multiply the number of cows times four to see how many cow legs I have. And I'm going to add that to then chickens, who chickens, we'll call them CK. Um, usually don't use two letters for a variable, but that's okay. So chickens have two legs. So whatever combination of cows and chickens I have, when I multiply by the number of legs that they have, that's gonna tell me I have a total of 82 total legs. This is sort of the equation that we're working with when we answer the question on the next page. So when we take a look at the table, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and keep this right here and I'm gonna say four cows plus two chickens equals 82. Okay, that's my basic equation I'm going to utilize here. So in the table when it says I have 35 chickens, well 35 chickens, that means I need to multiply that by 2 to see how many legs I've used up. <laughs> okay, 35 times 2 is 70. That's great, so that's 70 legs I've used. I only have a total of 82 legs. So if I take my total 82 and I subtract the 70 legs I've used, I have a total of 12 legs left. So for the number of cows, I take the 12 legs and I divide it by the number of legs each cow has, which is four. So 12 divided by four tells me how many cows I would have, which would be three. Look at the next one. If the chickens are, there's seven chickens, and I multiply by two, then I'm gonna have a total of 14 legs that I've used. That's great. That means though that I've added 82 legs, how many legs do I have left? I'll do 82 minus 14, and that's gonna give me a grand total of 68 legs are left. So when I take those 68 legs, and I divide it by the number of legs each cow has, 68 divided by four, is gonna give you, in this case here, 17 legs. Okay, all right, on our next one. We have 10 cows. Well, cows, this time, we can go this way. Cows is 10 times four, which means I've used 40 legs up. And if I have a total of 82 legs and I've used 40, how many legs do I have left? Two minus zero is two, eight minus four is four. I have 42 legs. So for chickens, I'll do 42, and I'll divide that by the number of legs on a chicken, which is two, and that's gonna give me a total of 21 chickens. 19, back to here, we'll multiply by two, since that's the number of chicken legs we've used, and that's 38 chicken legs. And so, since we've used 38 chicken legs, we'll do 82 minus 38, and we're gonna borrow. 12 minus eight is four, seven minus three is four, so now to find out how many cows, we do 44 divided by the number of legs to get 11 cows, okay? And then finally over here, we have five times four, five cows times four legs a piece gives you 20. And then we do 82 minus 20, see how many legs are left for us, which is 62. And 62 divided by two is gonna give you 31 chickens, all right. So in these combinations here, what we see is uh, um, we see that with to get 82 legs, I could have, for example, I could have, let's see if I get the right thing out here, I could have 35 chickens and three cows, and that's going to give me 82 legs, right? That's a possibility. I got 35 chickens and three cows. I could also have 14 chickens and 17 cows and still have 82 uh, total legs. I could have 21, oops, sorry, not 14, I apologize. Cross that out there, oops, sorry, seven. I thought that was still a little high. I could have seven chickens and 17 cows, that would work here. And over here, yes, I could have 21 chickens and then 
10 cows. That works there for 82 legs. I could also have 19 and 11. And then over here I could have 33 and five. Those are all uh, a variety of combinations of animals I could give, okay? So in this case here, this would be a total of 38 animals total. If you add those two up, those up. If I add those two up there, 17 plus seven is a total of 24 animals. 19 and 11 would give me a total of, uh, no, sorry, 21 and 10 give me a total of 31 animals. 19 and 11 gives me 30 animals. And 31 and five gives me 36 total animals. It's not asking for that yet, but that's the number of total animals that the farm would have playing with the leg combinations. So in the next part down below though, take a look at what's asking you to look at. It says here's a graph that shows the possible combinations of chickens and cows that add up to 30 animals. Okay, so we've already done one. We said that was 30 animals. We said 30 animals for us was when I had 19 chickens. Okay, where's chickens? They're right here. Here's 19 chickens. And when I had 11 cows, so there's 11 cows. And we can see that point right here at 19 and 11, right? That's where I have 19 chickens and 11 cows. That's my point right there. And we can see that from the table. Now the question asks us though, let's see, there's a question on the next page. It says, if the farm has 30 chickens and cows and their HG legs all together, then how many chickens and how many cows could the farm have? And we would say, well, based upon what we saw, we would say it's gonna be 30. Uh, sorry, it's gonna be 19 and 11 for the number of cows in there because our 30 total is what it's gonna be. All right, and so that's how you can use a table then up here to be able to figure the total number you wanted to know how much you wanted to go there. And you can look at other places too. Let's say I pretend, let's pretend there were 20. If I did 20 cows, right, that would be this point there. And if I check the line here for where this goes, 20 would then say that connects then with um, 10 chickens. And so we have another point here where I have, okay, I have 20 cows and 10 chickens and that's 30 animals as well. So that seems to be 30 as well, right? That's true, the number of animals, but what about the number of legs? And does that work out? Well, think about this, this is 20 times four for legs, that's already gonna be 80. And I only have two more legs to go for 10 chicken. That's a lot of chicken without legs. And I don't know about you, but when I have a bucket full of chicken, I like to have the legs, they're yummy. That is it for today. Have a great one, we'll see you next time.